Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will review the Spectra Page Builder plugin which is based on Gutenberg and you can easily create a responsive WordPress website using this. So it is a very lightweight plugin and here you will get a lot of blocks like here you will get 28 blocks to build your website and you can use like Flexbox container and you can use the one click block reset or you can copy paste styles to fast track your design process and here you can also get the typography and color supports with this page builder so let's check what are the features in details so let me just install this plugin in wordpress so what i can do i will go to wordpress dashboard and i will go to the plugin section here and i will click on add new here and here i will search for spectra and by the way, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. So let me just install this plugin and let's activate this plugin. Okay, now the Spectra plugin is installed. Let me just show you the website first. So this is a complete new installation of WordPress and there is no design added in this website so far. So let's start designing the website using the Spectra plugin. So let me just show you the blocks that we will get in this plugin. So here you will get the container. So this is just like a flex box and you can use different container or different sections and create a amazing wordpress website and here you will get headings with additional options and here you will get images buttons info box call to action block codes and here we will also get some seo features like faq schema how to schema review schema and you can also add table of content within one click and here you can integrate forms with your website and here you can add social share buttons testimonials or you can add different post counter or different modal post carousels so let's explore each and every blocks let me just first check the settings that comes with this plugin so here you can set the default content width and here you can set the content padding element gap element editor spacing and here you can enable the copy paste style option and you can also enable the automatic block recovery option so let's enable this one now let's click on asset generation and the asset will be generated in separate css and js file so that's why it is the file generation is on and you can also regenerate assets if you are getting any difficulties or if you are having problem then always regenerate the asset to fix your problem now let's click on the template here and the template button is enabled and here the version control and here you can enable beta but I don't recommend to enable beta here. Now let's click on performance and here you can see load google font locally so you can load all the google fonts locally in your server and you can also preload that local font so that it will load the font faster in mobile or desktop devices. Now let's click on the block setting here and here you can enable reCAPTCHA with your website and there are coming soon page also so if you are designing a new website then you can enable a coming soon mode on your website. So let's go to a page here and let's create a home page first. So I will name it like home and let's click on the Astra button here and here you can choose the layout so here I will choose the full width layout and here you can also enable or disable sidebar here and here you can also disable header or footer if you want and there are some additional options so you can enable transparent header if you want so i don't want that so let's design the home page so i will click on the plus icon here and let's browse all the blocks that will get in this spectra plugin and as you can see container heading image and here you can see all the blocks here so let's enable the container here i will click on here and as you can see that here you will get different layouts so you can add a single layout with 100 percent or you can add two layout with 50 50 percent so let me just select this one and as you can see that the two block is added so in the first block you can add a heading so you can simply search for heading so by default we get heading with WordPress or you can also add the heading through Spectra plugin. So in Spectra you will get more options in heading. So let me just add the heading, heading like welcome to our website. And let's add a subheading here. So what I can do is I will click on insert after and let me just click on plus one. Let's click on heading and let me just change the heading style. 
and let's change it to something like h4 or i can change it to a paragraph and i can add some paragraph here okay i have added a heading and a paragraph here now let's click on the heading here and let's decrease the spacing from the bottom so what i can do is i will click on the style here and here as you can see that here you can change the typography you can change the font family here you can change the font size font width and here you can change the line height line spacing and you can also change the text color to classic or gradient so let's keep it as classic and you can add text shadow here so we are going to use the spacing option here so let's keep the button margin to something like 5 pixel and let's add the top margin to 5 pixel and let's select the paragraph here and in the same spacing let's add a negative margin of minus 10 pixel so i will decrease the margin from here now let's add an image in the right section so i will click on the plus icon and let's search for image and i will choose the image from the spectra plugin now let's upload a image so let me just find a image here so let me just find this one let me just use this image so i will simply just save this image now let's upload that image from here okay now let's select the paragraph here and let me just increase the size of this paragraph so i will click on the heading here let's click on typography and let's increase the font size a little bit 26 pixel let's select the heading and let's increase the heading size here 45 pixel and you can also adjust the text size according to your devices like you can change the mobile size and desktop size so let me just select the tablet here and i can adjust the tablet heading font size here like that and i will select the paragraph and i will decrease the size in tablet now let's click on the mobile here so i will click on the typography here and i click I can decrease the font size in mobile now let's click on here and let's select the spacing option here and let's add the top margin to something like minus 20 pixel now select the heading here and I can just change the spacing so I will add a bottom spacing so I will set it like 0 or I can add a negative spacing here like 30 pixel now let's close this one let's select the whole container here and here you can set different preset so let's click on the container here and you can set it as box container or full width container and you can also set the container box width and you can also set the overflow to hidden or auto so i will click on visible now let's select the flex property so by default it is set to column you can set it to as row if you want to display it side by side and you can also reverse the order in mobile so by default the right section will show at the top and the heading will show at the bottom so let's select the desktop here now let's add a background so to add a background let's click on style here now let's click on background and let's choose a background color from here so i will select a color like this so this color is looking good and i can just adjust the opacity of this color now click on the spacing here and let's add a padding from the top so let's add the padding so let me just increase it to something like 50 pixel and let's add the so we have to uncheck this button and let's select the right to zero and let's set it to zero now let's change it to 100 pixel and set the top to 100 pixel okay now our hero section is added now let's click on save draft here and let me just preview in a new tab so as you can see our 
hero section is ready so you can add a button here so let me just quickly do that so i will click on insert after so i will click on plus search for button and i will select the button here and by default is set to two buttons so you can select one button and remove one button from here and i can add the button like subscribe and let's select this one here and i can set it as left align okay now our button is added so here you can change the spacing here so let's set the bottom padding to zero and top padding to zero and let's select this one and top padding to zero and bottom padding to zero now it is looking good let's click on save draft and let's preview this in a new tab so as you can see we have created the hero section using this spectra plugin and in the same way you can create the entire website and if you don't want to create it from scratch then you can use the template kit feature so i will click on the template kit here and here you can import an entire page to your wordpress website or you can use the patterns here and here you will get different options like you can import some about section here you can import contact section like that you can import some faq section or you can import a entire hero section and in the same way you will get the wireframe features here you can get different wireframes so you can easily create a website using this templates so let me just close this and i will show you some different blocks here so let's select this block like contents timeline and here you can add a content timeline like this let me just add some more blocks here and here you can add a form like this let me just click on form here and here you can create a simple contact form or newsletter form so i will click on contact form here and as you can see the contact form is added to our website so let's click on plus here and let's add a faq section so i will click on here and as you can see the faq section is added so let's click on the plus icon here and you can add more faq question like that so i hope you got the idea how the spectra plugins work with spectra plugin you can easily create a responsive website and get amazing speed in page speed inside so if you have any doubt regarding the spectra plugin then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and all the links of the spectra plugin will be given in the description so you can check that out and test it in your website and i will see you in the next video thank you